to all my friends out there. Well, I'm up here doing my walking. And I'm staying in my car all day until it gets dark. Uh, when the pandemic started, I used to walk in a, um, an indoor mall. And then the COVID hit. And I thought, oh, that is not safe. So I started walking up here outside. And I like it so much better. So what I was doing before the pandemic, and I want to get back to it, is I would walk for one hour and then I would outside and then I would walk inside. So up here, I want to walk inside, outside, and then I have uh, Get Fit with Rick and it's one hour, I want to do that inside. So that one of the most important things is to stay active because as you get older, your metabolism slows. So these are some of the types of sunglasses I sell at the swap meet. Uh, last time I went, I sold a lot. But um, last year, I bought, hi, I bought these sunglasses and I, I these are so much better. I wore these for a year and they were out of whack. So I took them to Walmart and they 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 adjusted them free. So I'm hoping to get another year out of these sunglasses. So um, if you've kind of messed your sunglasses up, consider that. Okay, so today I'm eating in my car. And so I thought I'm gonna go in Walmart. I'm gonna see what I can see. And I went for this little uh, jar of chicken and rice food and i was just going to eat that and i thought no that's that's not smart because it's rice with an itty bitty bit of chicken so what i got instead for 134 was this package of of spam so whether you're living in a car or you're living in a home can you see how this would be better for the dollar this is a real good way to mess your car up I usually cook these, but they're fine. Okay, that is not bad. That will taste good if you're hungry. One good strategy is don't eat until you are hungry. Then I bought, now this, you know, it's hard to beat Walmart, two forty four. dollars So this is uh, 16, 15 servings of one quarter cup each, but you can substitute these in place of your bread. And I just happen to like these. Yeah, they have a little bit of sugar, but that's okay. I'm not going to be going hungry. Then they had these muffins for $1. So now I didn't just grab these muffins. I looked for the one with the most chocolate chips in the muffins. These are skills we're learning. Okay, I came up with two other tasty. Um, now this is a potential mess too. I came up with uh, this week. Oops, I lost a few chocolate chips. Hmm. Now. Oh no, chocolate on the car seat. One day. I had sardines and I used my McDonald's app. I messed that up last night. It was so late. 134, you get, if you use your app, you get a large order of fries, sardines and fries. I got the Walmart sardines for 112 in Louisiana hot sauce and I had French fries. So I was very happy with that. This will work good for me. These are good snacks, cheap too. Then 
I had Vienna sausages and I used my app and I got the french fries. This is a refill. One dollar. But when I walk, I'm going to buy another one. So I have nuts, which are storable. And these are cheaper too. And then I had french fries with, some, with sausage, Vienna sausage, or Spam. Okay, I wish to report to you that the $3 bakery snacks are now, you know, like uh, I was going to buy the Cinnabons, the buns. Those were $3. Now they're $4.62. So they have predicted that the sweet treats were going to increase in price. So basically they've gone from $3 to $5, $4.62. So that is not a small increase. We're seeing, um, we're seeing a riots in Italy over pasta. So it's like in every country, like in America, we eat a lot of potatoes. So I'd be expecting a potato spike. I, I saw them in Walmart, five pounds for uh, 360. And then in the Asian countries, I would expect a shortage in rice. Okay, now they're starting to report. So we had riots in Italy over pasta and now reports are coming out of Korea that has been shut down over three years now for the COVID that people are actually starving so we what we want to say to ourselves could I withstand three years could I withstand uh 10 years and so you want to grow food in your house you're going to grow that food, you're going to get some dirt, and you're going to start doing it now. So if something happens, you're going to have some food. So these people were going two days without any food, and after 10 days, some were found dead. So now we're seeing famine. So then probably uh, Korea is going to have to be a little bit nicer to us so that, you know, our aid will come in to assist them. Okay, uh, I want to talk to you. Okay, now, in the city where I live, El Cajon, I don't live in city, El Cajon City proper. Uh, they're, they're making a tent city, tent dwelling to be illegal. They want you to go to um, like a tent city that's designed by, I guess, the government. So I was thinking, well, if that was me, I would say try to get onto the perimeter of the tent city. Don't camp in the middle of it. Also, uh, if you are homeless and you have lost track of your family or if you're a family and you have a homeless relative, you can sometimes find them. Uh, the police can find them. I'm so glad I got my sunglasses fixed. So um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna issue three citations, like go to the tent city, or then you're gonna be arrested. Because I think, um, I don't think it's any mal intent. I think it's some kind of um, thing. We wanna help these people, and otherwise they're just gonna drift on forever in this condition, which eventually, for some of them is gonna be fatal. So we're watching the world around us. We're saying, uh-oh, when problems start in other countries, they seem to have a way of making its way over here. I wanna show you something. Okay, I, here's my bracelet. I really like this bracelet. And I had this one too, cause I like green. And here are some of the jewelry I sell. Not this, I bought this for Lucy Wade and Weight Watchers. And then I gained it all back. Okay, so if I was talking to my son, if if things are good, we want to do the same thing tomorrow. So I'm extremely healthy. And what I did is I refused to veer off from the way my dad's family did things. So breakfast is cereal and milk. It was oatmeal. Mean Queen Super Scrimper grinds uh, seeds and puts that on top of hers and we would have it with milk then I found you can live off a sandwich with a small fruit and vegetable any kind of sandwich for lunch and then dinner is meat 
usually for us it was potatoes sometimes i eat um last night it was sweet potatoes i have one left um so meat vegetables and carb and bread and butter and milk so i don't want to veer off of that i want to i have pr pretty much been able to elude obesity and a lot of problems like that so when something is successful we want to do that the next day so when i came up with this successful car meal i want to do that the next day i want to make sure i'm going to have some fries or some nuts and some meat okay so if there's something we want to get rid of say if it was anything like just say a bad habit like drinking the more days you can put between the last day you consumed alcohol the better so if you get 10 days a year so it's anything it's like uh, like um weight gain okay if if you've gained weight if you're good one day you want to be good the next day and put as many days between the overeating or whatever it is hoarding i was trying to help someone with a hoarding problem and i thought this problem is a real problem not easily solved so what you would want to do is you want to maybe take out the trash and because most of them have a lot of garbage in the house and so you know any negative thing this was a great thing about dianetics just fix it a little bit at a time and that is really going to work there was a lot of good points and so when i was doing the self-help group they said take what you like and leave the rest so um i could see a lot of merit in it uh not planning on joining it and my son and i said basically we don't really prefer to join any groups because uh you know we just don't so okay you guys i will see you soon please like comment and subscribe and god bless you all